Okay, so this is the drive I have right now. It's in this computer. This is a X99 machine. Intel Core i7 5930K. It has 40 PCI Express lanes. That's why I can run the two video cards and the M2 solid state drive at the same time. It has enough PCI Express lanes to do that. And on the older boards, what it does, it might disable something on that motherboard. So I got the ASRock X99X Killer. And it disables the 5th PCI Express lane. Which is basically for a third video card. Which you basically don't need. And I had a sound card there. I took it out. I don't really need it. And everything worked. So I got this drive exactly the 970 evo the two terabyte in my system it sits under the first video card so you can't really see it kind of like see where my finger is where the ram is kind of like a little bit down more where the cooler master logo is under the video card so the m2 solid state is sandwiched in between the two video cards but closer to the first video card and I just want to show you what card I have. That's the Canadian price. So I got the two terabyte model. And this is the read and write performance. I did test it on Samsung software. I did their benchmark and I got pretty much close to the same benchmarks. And just the quick video, I'm going to show you the temperature temperature test I did this was before I used to get anywhere anywhere from 46 to 50 these are the minimum values 32 max 46 it would go up to about 50 and then after after what I did I forgot to show you I put this heatsink on it, which only cost me about fourteen dollars after shipping and tax and everything. It looks like this after. Because on the 970 Evo, it already has a heatsink on the back side of the of the drive. So this only went on the front of the drive. Installed this, put it back in my machine. This was the buff before I installed installed the heatsink, this is the temperature I'm getting, the 970 Evo 2 terabyte. Come on, focus. Anywhere from 47 to 50, low to meet to high. And then after, because I took a screenshot, and then after it went down almost 10 degrees, 39 to 43 I let it idle for a little bit and I haven't stress test anything this is idle to idle just playing YouTube videos browsing the internet no real workloads or anything on it but you can see it went down anywhere from 7 to 10 degrees and I just want to show you a quick little update from adding a heatsink you can Get it down 7 to 10 degrees just by $10. $10. Thanks for watching. Leave in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.